Hello everybody and welcome back to a new YouTube video and today we will be seeking the RMS Ophelic. <coughs> now uh, this ship is created by Airstrike Online, now it's in the Steam Workshop if you'd like to go check them out. And right before saying thing, there are three versions of this ship, the HMHS one, the, and the HMT one, and well the RMS one that we're checking out right here. Now first thing we're going to do is go check out some of the interior. As we can see now, here's about the boat deck, of course. The very nice grand staircase, and got stone, very detailed. The only thing I don't like about these steps is you have to jump to get back up them. But the thing is, it the ship is like V. Now we don't have the lights on. I don't know why I didn't turn them on. Uh, this is the first class lounge, I'm going to assume. Now down, this is A deck. Now down to B deck, not to say C deck. There's more seating areas, more plants, very nice. On to uh, C deck. Our first class dining room, which is very big and very nice. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> I got a little cough. But I'm on down to D deck. I'm gonna have to get a flashlight out. D deck. Ooh, got a door. And, well, down a hallway. That's supposed to be a boiler room. And into the, the second class state case. Let's top up this. It's very difficult to get on. Now here's the second class dining room. Very nice. If I can get up here. Now now we're on B deck. Nothing on B deck. And nothing on A deck. Just I don't know. Wait a minute, is there? No. Excuse me. And onto boat deck. Onto the boat deck. Onto the boat deck. Now we are taking on a list. Which is not good. Not good at all. Go check out. See what you, Let's go see the list actually. Willow and new lifeboats. Oh, yes, I did put it on sync. Not one of them people that say, oh no. I didn't press it on sync. I didn't put the press the sync button on and it just starts syncing. No, I put it on. I put this, I s press the sync button. We have a nice story in the video. But, um, you probably even seen it. Got this little list so far. Oh yeah, this is also some interior. Very nice. <coughs> Very nice. I'm gonna do another video on the ship without me talking. Probably be better. Cause this mic is horrible. I'm sorry for that. Go to the boat deck. The thing I wish this ship did was the funnel spell, but like I said, this is a very detailed and nice ship. Let's go on the bow. <coughs> oh yeah, another thing, the lights dim, which I love that part. Oh, let's get down. Another deck. Alright, we're on the. Um, uh, well, deck. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, I forgot. Now we're on the forward castle, I think. You may have gotten messed up. No, I don't, I don't think I did. Now you can't go in here. Nothing in there. Got one big cargo hatch. Let's go back on the forward castle. Air intakes. Which is nice. They, they're curved like that, so the water, like when it rains, you don't go right through it. But what if the water slams right there? Well, then there's gonna be water. I don't know what else to tell you. And let's go. This is a very nice deck. I like this ship a lot. We will be doing videos on the HMT and the HMHS one. Like I said, HMS one, it will be probably early hours and a mine shark like the Botanic. And based on the HMT, we will do a cloudy winter storm. That's how we're gonna sink that one. Okay. It should be all be up like that before Christmas or on Christmas. Hope you all have. A, also, speaking of Christmas, hope you all have a very nice Christmas. I sure hope I will. Think I will. I think I will. Okay, let's put up this lifeboat. Cause we need a. I keep forgetting that that is not the deck connector. This is the deck connector. <coughs> 
like, see, they would lower it to this part. Oh, shoot. I forgot. They'd lower it to, like, right here, so you could jump on in it. And then they'd keep lowering it down to here. Now, sucks. the thing that sucks about these light boats is that you cannot control them, man. Like, you can't control them. You can push them if you, like, in the water. Oh, there goes the lights dimming again. I'm just gonna release this one. Is it upright? Yes, it is. That's great. As we reel this one in. All right, well now let's go check. Let's check the list. All right, the well deck is now going to begin to flood. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. As you can see, yep, there's water on the well deck. We might want to get that lifeboat ready. To bring it over. See how fast we could do this. Now we're gonna stop. Just pink blow in it. Right, I'm gonna stop that. Release. Okay. Now we're up. It is winches up, but we're gonna This way a minute. So don't get stuck last time I did it like that. It got stuck, yes he got shaken. So we keep going up a little. Alright, let's go check the um, interiors out and see how they're doing. Alright, let's just go down here. Like I said, this is a very nice green staircase. <laughs> so we have a port list, a little port list like Titanic. Oh yeah, here's the reception room, I think. Or whatever, I can't believe that was cool. No water yet, surprisingly. No water. Oh, there's a little glitch. Sit down and see where the water's at. Oh yeah, see the water's starting to come. Oh, world deck's completely flooded now. And the forecastle on the anchorage, it's about to start to flood. Yeah, this room should be flooding any minute now, or soon. Not any minute, really. <coughs> Let's see, because the water's flooded. That port fell on. Let's head on up. Let's head on up. Like I said, this is a very nice interior. Very nice. Once again, this is probably my favorite ship in the game, actually. Just so it's lag free. It's very detailed and just so smooth. You know. <coughs> very nice. Eh, I'm gonna close it. Let's see how the flooding is. Oh, yeah, the forecastle is starting to flood. It's going down. Check out the stern. No, I think we'll lower the loose boat, so I think we will. Not today. Not today. Yeah, see, you can lower these two. Let's. Yeah, the propellers are starting to come out of the water. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, the forecastle's almost gone, and uh, a deck is now starting to flood. Let's check on that flooding. Oh yeah, it's starting. It's flooding. Let's see, uh, this room is now going to start flooding. In the dining room, it is flooding as well. That's a cool feature in this thing. As you can see, if you look over there, the water starts slowly rushing into the portholes, which I like that about this. Oh shoot, a deck's flooding. A deck is flooding, and the lights are dimming. We're gonna go to the more closer to the edge of the ship as the final plunge begins. I'm gonna go into camera mode or photo mode, not camera mode. Too God. I'm gonna go to this right here. That's good. So go into photo mode. Let's go check out the flooding. Oh yeah, see. Ah, uh, lag. Yeah, see, there's the water. <coughs> wow. This beautiful. It just has like a thumbnail. But, yeah. As you can see, the bridge is now starting to flood, which means it is the final plunge. 
Now, I'm going to give you a warning. If you do get this ship, <coughs> final plunge, about three minutes stops if you're in deep water. It goes down fast. Which it's going to go down now. Let's go over here to the starboard side. See these, yeah, see the portholes over there, they're floating in. Oh yeah, the warehouse is going. The final plunge is beginning. The way it goes down fast. And I mean fast. Oh, the lights are dimming. It's like Titanic did. Except it did that like for like yeah, probably on this time maybe. Oh, here it goes. Wow. Now that power does turn off or cut out. As it rises, see this thing does go down fast. Yep, see there goes the lights, and they're out. They are out. Because the first funnel, and then the second funnel follows. As it goes vertical, almost. Oh yeah, I forgot to check that room. No, I didn't. I checked it. It's the second class. Wait, no, I didn't actually. That's the second class stairway. But that's really that's it down there. As it goes vertical, got her. Propellers up in the air. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, we hit the bottom of the ocean, so it's going to fall back now. Get that, though. Look at that sight. Now. Um, now, like I said, this was probably my favorite ship. The only thing is, it turns very slowly. Very slowly. This rudder don't even move. That's probably why they use little rudders down there. Like I said, we didn't load these lifeboats. Just load them too. There I am in the water. Uh, yeah. And you can see it does have a portal list. But it, it's gonna um, rest on... Well, not on its side, but upright. So, yeah. They gotta go. Right there's the place we left, the island. I'm gonna save this map and do like the HMHS one against the island, like the Botanic, as it's going through here, like the channel. Like the Kia channel like the Botanic did, except it's not going to be called the Kia channel. Creative Islands over there, as you can see. Up here she goes. It's going back fast, actually. Very fast. Because the air intake, the both lifeboats are now all gone, as you can see right there. No more. Now no more docking bridge. Or, I don't know. I don't know if you know that ain't the docking bridge. Oh, there goes the second class. No wait, I don't know what that room is. That's another room, but that's it. And the RMS Ophelic is now gone under the ocean, I mean, under the surface. Very last time I've ever seen night sky as the mast goes down. There it goes. It's gone, just me and two lifeboats now as it descends down. This room is not flooded, surprisingly. Yeah. You can see the, like the shadow, the outline of it, as it hits the seabed. 